round seven. As of 2015, the second best watt in the world was completed by Ulf Timmerman using the glide technique. Chris? Shot put. Using the glide technique, yet the spin was used by Randy Barnes to set the world's long-standing field record. Do you think the spin was relevant to Randy Barnes' long-standing world record? It could have been something else there. Mm, no, it, Timmerman was more likely to be on drugs than Barnes. Yes, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, Chris, two points, 37. Interesting going to the last round, this. A 2007 documentary subtitled, subtitled A Fistful of Quarters saw gaming legend Billy Mitchell have major problems with newcomer Steve Weeby breaking his world high score on which 1981 arcade game? <laughs> Matt Laycock. I have not finished the question, I'm afraid. Minus one. Michael. Pac-Man. Sorry, Michael, this did not finish the questions. Matt Preston. Space Invaders. No, minus one. It's killing me, Debs. I was going to say Space Invaders. Say something else then. Uh, Dun. Dun. Uh, Chris. Donkey Kong. Two points. Oh, well, oh, well, oh well. I was sat in the space pit, so I was just about to say Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong was the last thing you reminded me of. <laughs> Youthful two points is that, and especially with the ones away. What nickname was shared by two winners of the European Footballer of the Year award during the 1960s? Uh, Lev Yashin of Dynamo Moscow. Michael. Black. Chris. Black cat. Prompt. Black. <laughs> Two points for you, no points away. 1900 and 1924 with two Michael Harris. Good for his age now. <laughs> Next one, good one. Andy Wilkinson set the record of 41 hours, 4 minutes and 22 seconds for human powered travel between which two points? Michael. And no, that doesn't go to those. Two points. Next one. Uh, which sport would you associate, with which sport would you associate Olympic gold medalists, father and son, Charles and Richard Burnell? <laughs> Margaret? Swimming. I'm afraid not. Uh, and brothers, Carmine and Giuseppe Abagnale. Chris. Rowing. Yeah, excuse my terrible, terrible pronunciation there. Apart from playing the piano, and solving rubric cubes. Name the lead three quarter who scored two tries and won the run. Steve Rose. Right home. He's a good answer. You deserve it to be me. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ashton, Clout, York Round and Linz. Clout? Archery. That is. In the lap. It's not very often that somebody gets an answer on their own like that. Whilst playing for Inter Milan, who became the first black footballer? Steve Rose. No for blessing. Minus one. Who became the first black Well, hang on, you've got some else in there. Tester? Deschamps? No, uh, no, no. Minus one. Thank you. Who became the first black footballer to captain England? Not this. Collins. All into the deck, that's a. He didn't exactly light at the Tansir, did he? Next one. Which lock? Captain Ireland to their 2015 Six Nations. Steve Rose. Hello, Colin. He's a good answer, Steve. Confident. I like it. Right behind you, Michael. What's up far behind? I thought, uh, Chris Curtis, where were you? What oh, was he locked? That was the wall. I was thinking Devon Lock. I was thinking Devon Lock. Yeah, if you actually think about Paul O'Connell and Rape of the Lock, it puts a strange connotation to it. Yes. Yeah, he became the world number one for the first time on July the 8th, 2002. Michael. Tiger Woods. No, Matt Laycock. Andy Murray. No, was there something wrong with my pronunciation there? Uh, she became the world's number one for the first time on July the 8th, 2002 and achieved the ranking for the sixth time on the February the 18th, 2013. <coughs> Steve Rose. 
Venus. Sorry, Sir Ed Williams. I'm afraid I can't give you a doubt, Sir Mark Preston. Venus. And that's what he said. I was going to say Serena Williams. Right, you're right. Two points for you, Dev. It'll come out in the film and I'll be right. You mark my word. <laughs> oh, yes, Ray. It's got to be legitimate. Four! Four of the top five players in which sports Rolex rankings were born in Korea? With a top Michael. Archery. No, straight not. Uh, Chris. Badminton. No, Laycock. Squash. No, these are all minus one. Preston. Table tennis. Rhodes. Let's get golf. Golf is correct. Golf. Oh. What was the first English football club to have dugouts, undersoil heated, climb? <laughs> Back to normality. Thank yeah, you. Everything is correct answer. Who beat? Ken Doherty in 1998, Mark Selby in 2007, Sean Murphy, Michael. Ronnie Sullivan. I'm afraid not, minus one. We've got some pressures coming in. Clive. Higgins, John Higgins. Yes, John Higgins. Keith Peacock. Chris. Was the first substitute to be used in English was football too much that athletic. Wow. How many Formula One Drivers' Championships did Jackie Stewart win? Clive by three hundredths of a second. Voted Female Athlete of the Century by the IAAF in 1999. Who was the most successful athlete at the 1948 Chris? <laughs> two points, what a useful two points for you, Chris. I'll give it to Clive. <laughs> Two parts, there you go. <laughs> Despite throwing two interceptions, who was named Super Bowl MVP in the Patriots 20... Michael! Brady. <laughs> yeah, Brady is a good answer. Michael, good. 20 points to you, Michael. Who won 200 and 400 metre gold medals at the Atlanta Olympics? Michael! Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Plenty of Johnsons to go at. So. Yeah. Uh, two points, 22. No, that's one. Yeah, I think with a name like Johnson and the Olympics, he's kind of got to fill it out just a little bit. Man. Who? Yeah, in fact, you definitely have. There's so many of them. <laughs> Whose wife was Peter Alice talking about when he observed, she's thinking if this goes in, we get a new kitchen. <laughs> Margaret. Dustin Johnson. John Johnson's enough. No! <laughs> <laughs> Debs! Oh, so, not really. It's over to you. It's not, no, there isn't, because Paul Myers isn't incorrect. Yeah. It, it's not Dustin Johnson. <laughs> Debs, if you go. Oh, I've misunderstood the question. I was going to send Laura Davis. Sorry. Rose. Zach Johnson. Zach Johnson is a correct answer. I didn't mean to confuse you at all there, but it's Zach Johnson. So, in April 2004, when batting against England in Antigua, how many runs did Brian Lallard, Preston? 501. No. Michael? 401. No. Chris? 400. 400 is the correct answer. So, uh, Michael gets minus one, Chris gets plus two, and who else loses the point there? Me, me, Mark Preston. It's far the one, isn't it? Is that counting game? I froze there. Uh, a little bit reminiscent of then there was 400 to one, and then there was 400 to yes. one. Yes. Next one is this. Restart. Yep, his son, Alexander age 39, was discovered dead at a property in Notting Hill on the 5th of May 2009 from heroin intoxication. Who was preceded by Jean-Marie Balestre and succeeded by Jean Tot as president of uh, FIA? Chris? Bernie Eccleston. Not Bernie Eccleston, it's Michael. Max Moses. Max Moses, yes. correct answer, you've got the two back there. 23 points to Michael. Chris is in the lead. Oh my goodness, Chris. Um, what do Bolton Wanderers, Del Boy and Rodney, Clive, <laughs> Trot is correct. He couldn't wait to get that one out. 38 to Clive and he's in contention. Music the last round. With which Nintendo game 
will, will associate the land of Hyrule and the Blue Lake of the Legend of Zelda. It's such a good game. Oh, 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 Kidnapped by Fidel Castro, July the 26th movement, who was released on hand, who at the age of 46 was the oldest driver to win the Formula One World Title Prize. Fangio. Yeah, there's one that only won Fangio. Fangio on 40. Uh, next one coming up. Flying the... Oh, yeah, Flying Mares. Wrestling. Wrestling is correct. Fly, look at you on 42. <laughs> next question. The record weight for which kind of fish caught by rod and line in the UK was set at 67 pounds and 8 ounces by Austin Holness in August 20, 2008 at Collingbrook Lake, Willsborough, Kent. Lake off. Yeah. Gav, you were so waiting for me to finish that question, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at all those questions. That's a pretty fun ever, Matt, but you're on 50. <laughs> Which puts Chris and Mark level pegging almost going to music around the county. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many, how many distinct pieces of tetrominoes are available in a game of Tetris? Lego. Five. Michael. Six. Preston. Seven. It's correct. Mark Preston. Seven. 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 Stephen Harbison, Matthew Hoggard, Simon Jones, Liam Pluckett, Willie Wood, and Sir Francis Jones. Uh, Dev. Bowls. Bowl is all the ball here, they're all bowlers. So, Dev, you get two points. And, and, and some, of the, some of the guys are going to be a bit missed about not nailing that one a bit earlier. Next one is this. And the last one on the sports round. Who, in 1984, Became Britain's first ever Olympic gold medalist in a throwing event. Michael! Tessa Sanderson. Tessa Sanderson by 300 yeah. seconds. Go get a drink. Okay. If somebody could get me a coffee, I would so, so appreciate it. You bought me already, so you're exempt from this. I'll total the scores up and then we're going to last music down at it neck and